Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul Kiva Labs. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning how uh, we can create custom fields in TestLink. So TestLink uh, provides you with an option to create uh, the customized fields uh, that can be associated with your test plans, test suits, test cases, etc. Okay, so let's see uh, some important points uh, related to custom fields. So when custom field is created, uh, it needs to be assigned to the project. Uh, custom field definitions are system wide and uh, which means you cannot define two custom fields with the same field ID. That is duplicate custom fields are not allowed. So uh, the custom uh, fields, their IDs should be unique. If you are giving uh, two same IDs, uh, it will throw you an error. Coming to next point, uh, testing allows you to create the following field types. So you can create a string, a numeric, a float field, a field of the type email, checkbox, or it can be a list, uh, it can be date, it can be a text area, etc. Okay, so in couple of uh, minutes, we'll be uh, navigating to the test link and we will be uh, seeing uh, all these uh, information out here. Okay, and the next point uh, tells us the display entries that are used uh, in the custom fields. So, uh, which means that where those fields will be displayed. So, if we uh, see the first A point, so display on test specification. So, if this field is checked out, uh, the field will be shown on the test uh, specification tree coming to B part uh, if you enable it on the test specification then if checked the field will be editable that so that you can assign or change that field on test specification area coming to C part a display on test execution so if uh, this particular part or option is selected the field will be shown on the test execution and enable on test execution means if this field or this option is checked the field will be editable on the test execution and as i said uh, these custom fields are available for test cases test plans test suits and requirements as well so uh, let me add that point Okay, so, um, so when we create custom fields, we need uh, to provide the following details. So the name of the field, the type, the value, and the availability or the display information. So let's go to uh, our test link and try to create a custom field. Okay, so uh, this is uh, my test link URL. I'll click on login. On uh, the left hand side, you will see an option of define custom fields. So uh, let's click on that define custom field option. So here you will see all that custom fields uh, listed. Okay. Uh, these are the three uh, buttons, create, export and import. So we will see the functionality of each one of them one by one. So let's try to create one of the field. Uh, we will click on create. Okay. So this is how the custom uh, field, uh, uh, the page looks like. So name, uh, label, availability what is the type where you want to enable it and display on test execution so these are the options present here so let's try to create uh, uh, say for example comments i want to um, create a field called comments on a test case okay so let me give the name comments and label cm so that you can uh, select as per your convenience now available for test cases what will be the type so these are all the options available type numeric float email checkbox so since uh, normally in the comments we will uh, type some english uh, sentences so i will select it as a string okay now this next option is enable on so where this field will be enabled so these are the options test execution test spec design test plan design okay so let's uh, select test spec design and next field it is asking is display on test execution so you can select as yes or no so for example i select as yes okay now these uh, are the, the three buttons present here add add and assign to current test project and cancel so if you click on this add button so this field will just be 
created but it will not be assigned to any project if you click on this button add and assign to current test project it will be added as well as it is assigned to the current project that is test project one okay cancel means uh, again it will uh, take you back to that part so let's click on add and assign to current project okay so this field is created comments uh, this is the label what is the type is string type uh, enable on context test specification and display on execution so there's a check mark and it is available available for test cases okay now uh, uh, let's see uh, where we can find this field actually so let's go to home page okay so uh, there is a link here called as uh, test specification go to test specification okay so the page navigates you uh, to the test specification page and you can find here uh, test cases present okay so let's click on any of the test case for example i click on this test case so this is a test case so as we have created that field for the test case so we should be able to see that field somewhere here okay um let's scroll down and see you can see this field here as cm so that is the same custom field that we have created previously okay uh, from where we can give the value for this field so for that thing uh, we need to create a test case because this field is uh, available for test case okay so i'll go to a suit i'll go here and i'll click on test case operations so i'll create a new test case so as soon as i try to create a new test case sample test sample test uh, you fill all the fields see cm field right so custom field demo okay so th that is how you can give the value of this field while creation of the test case and just click on create so the cm field is populated so uh, we have seen how we can add a custom field of the string type uh, for a test case okay uh, let's navigate back to uh, custom fields and uh, let's try to create uh, some other field type on uh, any other uh, you know object uh, okay so say for example i want to create uh, a custom field for a requirement okay i'll uh, you know give some uh, name to the my custom field rec id jira label r id okay so since it is an id i can select the option as a numeric and again the same three options i'll click on add and assign to current project so uh, a rec id that is being created <coughs> Now, where we can see that? So, since we have uh, created it for a requirement, uh, let's click go to a requirement specification and uh, click on any one of the requirements. Okay, and uh, let's try to create a requirement. See, this is the same custom field that we have created uh, some time back for a requirement and that's a numeric field say for example i will give here a b c okay uh, let me fill out some uh, fields for the requirements okay so uh, okay if i click on save it should throw me an error why because we have taken it as a numeric field and here we are giving as ABC. So let's see if it throws an error or not. Click on save. Okay, so custom field RID accepts only numeric values. So the validation uh, is done and it has thrown you the error. So just click on OK, type 1, 2, 3, click on save. okay so 
that is saved d1 test sample so that's a requirement and all your fields are filled out with the rid that is the same custom field that we have created here so this is how uh, we can create uh, a custom field okay uh, next we will uh, see these two options that are export and import so export means uh, you can export all these fields in some available format for further analysis let's see uh, click on export so it will generate you a custom fields dot xml and the file type will be an xml okay let's click on export and it has downloaded an xml file if you open that file so you will find all the custom fields okay so see uh, it has downloaded you all uh, the custom fields that are created with all the details label uh, type possible values minimum length maximum length okay so this is how uh, you can export uh, the custom fields click on no I'll go again here I'll go here and I'll click on define custom fields now import uh, you can import uh, the custom fields that uh, you may have uh, created and you require for your project so if you click on import button so file type available is XML so you have to import an XML file and after the XML file uh, is uploaded so your custom fields uh, will be created okay so uh, I have an XML file uh, created out here so this is a sample uh, XML file and these are uh, the different uh, values I want to create so in this XML file I have given two custom fields one is CF string and um, another one is CF list uh, along with all the other options like um, name of the field label uh, type possible values uh, minimum length maximum length so this is a defined format uh, that we can use uh, to create or import the custom fields so uh, let's try uh, to import this file and let's see if our custom fields are created so uh, let's click on choose file and this is a custom field import dot XML file that I have created let's click on open so uh, you can see your file present here and uh, maximum size of the file is 400 KB that it is allowed here okay okay so uh, just click on upload file and see uh, it has given you a message imported custom field CF string imported custom field CF list imported okay now let's go to our home page and again go to the custom fields yes so our uh, custom fields are created out here CF string and CF list okay so let's see CF string with the label uh, string CF it is available for test case and it is of type string it will be enabled on test specification design and display on test execution okay so if you want you can update any of the values and uh, uh, you can change the values as per your requirement okay ah, so another one is a CF list uh, this is uh, of the type list and it is available for a uh, test case and these are the possible values D purple yes and Queen and it is enabled on test specification design and it will not be displayed on test execution correct so uh, uh, we have seen uh, uh, how to import the custom field as well so now we are familiar with uh, how to create a field how to export a custom field and how to import the custom fields so uh, that's it for uh, this tutorial if you have any doubts uh, do let me know uh, by putting a comment uh, on my video and i'll be uh, happy to help you out uh, so keep learning in life uh, bye bye